guys and welcome back to my channel how are we doing i i'm doing great um i don't know how i feel about everything that is happening in nigeria this is me trying to check up on everybody how are you people doing how are we really doing how are we keeping up nigeria is such a wonderful place to be at this time how exactly are we handling the light situation the the hike and the prices of everything how exactly are we handling it um i don't know how everyone is doing because this is affecting both the rich the middle class the lower class everybody is crying and lamenting about the situation of things in nigeria at the moment this is that time when you need extra courage extra grace extra push to be a nigeria to be a nigerian it's not god really needs to help us quickly okay so i'm going to be encouraging us out there to you know keep faith up keep up keep faith. help but do that just keep faith up so guys this morning i'm going to the market i want to go and get a few things my refrigerator is practically empty i i don't even know what to buy you know i had a lot of waste because of this light um inconsistent light i i had a lot of vegetables waste because i can't store those vegetables and all in the um i can't store them in the freezer so everything that i cannot store in the freezer wasted and i couldn't just afford to so if you notice i've not even gone to the market for a very long time but today i just have to cook i just i really want to have salad i want to have vegetables i i'm tired i don't know so i want to go to the market just a, um, a fish market close to where i stay i want to see what i can buy with twenty thousand naira today i want to see what 20k can get me i want to cook afang soup i have okazi at home and i want to buy just a few things and things for stew just a few things i just want to see what 20k can get me in nigeria today and i'm going to show you guys all of it please if you're new to my channel consider subscribing to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you watch my video to the end and share with somebody okay guys let's get to the market Yeah, okay, okay. Bam, bam. I'm not snapping you, I'm snapping the veggies. Tell one camel we are It looks fresh like you. Oh, yeah. Bahari, you want help me now? You want to help Bahari? Oh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Big, big size. The third one. I'm very, very fresh. How did I get it? I'm so happy. I'm seeing bigger ones, man. That's a good one because here. Okay, <laughs> How much do they sell? Pretty for me. Hey. Oh, that give me na. See my customer. 
I meet at the video, not be you at the video. I deceive. She wants to do herself. What do you want to do with that one? I don't want to do with that one. If you won't buy like this, eh. as a customer, let me tell you, I don't want to do it yourself. Eh. So buy a cake. I forget the people tell you, tell me say 15,000. Meet me not pass 8,000, I buy more than 15,000. I have put for so That is how I customer it is. Since last year, no. How much will you give me last year? Take it 350. I'll give you 300. I'll never add money. Hey. <laughs> Anytime somebody comes, you will pack it. Look at me, it's 100 million. For one. Which one is it? Give me 300. And it's not even like it's very very fresh. No, it's fresh. Yeah. Yeah, I never wish it. Never. Uh, if I wish it, you see. Keep it. Hi guys, I just finished from the market right now. I'm still in the market anyway. I just entered my car, finished buying everything that um, I needed to buy. I was basically pinching everything. Firstly, I have to pinch because I don't want to buy a lot and um, the spoil because there is no light. And secondly, I went with 20,000 naira and I want to buy a lot of things. So I just had to buy small, 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 small bits of everything that I wanted. I, I wasn't able to buy all, but at least the ones I could buy. I just bought a um, um, pinch of it. So I'll go through my list and check if I exhausted everything. And also with what I, the list I already made, I'll check if it's, if it's making sense, if it's adding up, but honestly, I I don't know. The most difficult part of buying things in chunk, 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 chunk is that you spend more money at the end of the day. But right now, it's even difficult to to buy in bulk because I usually go to Karimo Market to buy things in bulk. If I go to Karimo Market to buy things in bulk, how am I going to preserve those things? How exactly on earth am I going to preserve those things with this epileptic um, power supply? We've not seen light, anything that looks like Nepal light for over 48 hours now in my area. We've not seen light at all for 48 hours. It's been generator, generator, and to even get fuel to power the generator is one problem of its own. So. 
anywhere you see a Nigerian right now, make we just they dash ourselves money, make we just they give ourselves hug, make we just they let's just be happy for ourselves. It is not easy anywhere at all. You can imagine that my son was complaining, Mommy, I'm itching, Mommy, my, my body is itching. He will shower, he will come out, his body is itching, he's cranky. And I don't blame the schools. How do you expect schools at this time to be able to power their their um, their lister or their generators with the way diesel is right now? Most of these schools they use um, uh, listers, and you know that is basically diesel that they use. So diesel is within 700 to 800 naira per liter. How can they sustain it? Look at how many hours these children have to stay in school before we pick them up. Well over seven hours and it's not easy on the school so i don't know so let me get home guys if i get home i'll show you everything that i bought and and i'll carry you guys along okay let's go home hi guys so i'm back home now and these are all the things that i bought from the market the ones with the bowl i just had to i use this bowl to pack things up to bring them upstairs so it's easy i'm going to show you everything i bought and of course, how much I give them. Guys, this is three kilo of meat. I bought a kilo for 2,400. Previously, I've been buying two five, two two, two three, but today I bought for two four. This is 7,200 naira meat, guys. 7,200. Looks funny, right? 7,200. <laughs> and then, of course, a crate of egg is 1,800. I'm just going to wash this and put it in the egg rack. This is 1,800 naira and 1 kilo. I got this watermelon. Watermelon. I got them to open it so I can see that it's right inside. It even fell down and broke. This watermelon is 700 naira. So it's worth it. I'll just eat everything for the meeting. I don't want it to spoil. The last one I bought, I was trying to you know, eat it and it spoiled. So this is why I bought small. I'm just going to finish it up with 700 naira. I got some apples. These apples, I have um, six pieces of apples here. Four tiny ones for the boys and two little ones. And then this is 1,000 naira apple, guys. The big ones are 250 naira each. And this one was. Look. This is 1k apple. My <laughs> Ah! So this is pineapple. This pineapple is 700 naira. 700 naira pineapple. Okay, usually this pineapple would cost 300, even 200 naira. If I go to Karimo Market, I will buy this for 200, 250. Before, but right now, I don't know. I don't people think you can get this for 500 at Karimo Market. But this, I just got only one. Just quick eat. I'll just eat it up immediately. Nothing to keep. Carrots, guys. This carrots is 200 naira carrots. I'll just open it a bit so you see. There's um 200 naira carrots. Three five hundred. So I got three of them. Five hundred naira mango. Jason loves mango a lot, so I I usually buy this even on the street it's just the same thing basically on my street here it's 250 for one but in the market i got this for 500 three of them of course <laughs> this is garden egg basically i think what i went to the market to do is just to get veggies and fruits i've just been creating lots of veggies and fruits with the things happening in nigeria you who can agree with me that Vegetables and fruits, they are luxury, serious luxury right now. So I just want to buy lots of veggies and fruits. Because it's not it's not just about the fact that they are even expensive. It's about the fact that you don't get to preserve how do you preserve them when there is no light, when there is no steady supply of electricity. Most of these vegetables are, 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 are temperature sensitive. So if you don't have constant electricity supply, how do you preserve them? That is even the most i don't know i don't know i don't, I don't just know what to say about this situation in nigeria but then we are happy people let's continue this um okay the prices of these ones i don't think that the increase are i think they are still basically the same thing so i have um green this green pepper i got three for 200 this size 
I got three for 200 naira and then this is it three for 200 naira pepe this is spring onions Spring onions, all the spring onions is just 100 naira. So this one's the prices are still they're still where they are, kind of. Then lettuce. Lettuce is one thing that whenever you go to the market, they will pack it. They always, they always want to pack everything and give to you for free. So all these lettuce is 100 naira. But the thing is, if I don't eat it up now, 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 it's going to be a total waste. So I just wanted to buy more naira oil so that I don't get to waste anything. So I have to prepare salad, you know, smoothies. I can prepare smoothie and put in the freezer and you know salad and we just everything we'll be eating from now is going to be lots of salad and veggies so that these things don't go to waste at all. So this cabbage, I got this cabbage for 300 naira, right? Yes. 300 naira. The guy was insisting for them. Finally, I thought it was 300. Yes, I got it for 300 naira. So, this is the size that we need to buy it. 200, 250, 300. Not bad after all. This kitchen bar, I got this kitchen bar for 200 naira. So, this is half basket of tomatoes. I already have tomatoes in the freezer. I just wanted to buy like add more to it. So this half basket of tomatoes is 750 naira, and they are the really, really, really they are the very good um, species of tomatoes. If you're a fan of tomatoes, you know that this is a good this is a good species of tomatoes. Not those long. Uh, yellowish one this is utc the one they call tomato juice also this is good tomato it's really sweet and if you want to use tomatoes for your salad this is the special you should use that's about it this is um water leaf i got them to cut the water leaf in the market i just want to save myself that wahala so this is water leaf of 900 naira they've already cut it all i have to do right now is to wash it and put my soup immediately and then um Freeze the soup. That's what I have to do. This soup, I have to cook it today, today, today. This is it. I also got pomo. This is pomo for 500 naira. Okay, pomo is not, doesn't have any nutritional value, so they say, but then because I'm going to be making vegetable soup, let's just have tiny, tiny pomo in this so that we can just be nibbling on. There's beef already, there's going to be fish and all, but then. Pomo, you know, Pomo is always an essential in Nigerian vegetable soup. <laughs> so this is 500 naira Pomo. It's three pieces inside here. Right, so this is it. So, fine. so this oil, I usually use Western oil, but almost I've not had an opportunity to go and buy it in bulk because the price is so expensive right now. So I just went to market today to pick this. I got this for 2,400 naira. Pomo. It's a choke. Then I got spices. This is curry. This is um garlic powder and this is ginger powder. Each of these is um 300 and this is 350. So basically, guys, this is everything I got from the market. As you can see, this is how I managed to buy everything I bought from the market and 20k has finished completely. I remember the times when if you go to the market in 10,000 naira. You, you come back with the trunk of your car filled up to the brim in this Abuja if you want to buy food stuff but now 20,000 naira it's not really looking like what it used to look like before even if I took this money to carry more I don't know what different what the difference would have been okay so guys I hope you can see the prices of things what's what are things like in your uh, in your location how are you people faring the essence of this video is to actually communicate with you guys how are you people faring with how are you doing how are you managing things how are you running your home in this season okay 
this is a very good time to be a good home manager if not you're going to be wasting money that is not even easy to come by you have to make smart decisions smart choices as for the type of things you cook and how you shop at this time because of this life situation because you cannot continue to burn generator you know 247 even if you can you know but then to even get the fuel it's not even easy so i just want to know how you guys are faring people in nigeria how are you people doing those are not in nigeria look at how we are but god will help us no matter what no matter what season it is let's just keep hope alive i know that we are coming to the end of all these things we have we've got to the darkest part of the tunnel and that is where they say the light comes in so hang in there mama hang in there wifey things will be fine do what you can make deal with however available thing you have and manage your home okay god will help all of us thank you for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who you think that might find it helpful thank you so much and bye guys